This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. A few minutes into the show, we probably should have did this right at the top of the show. You and I both individually thought the world of Tracy Smothers. One of my all time favorite wrestlers to watch. I was so entertained by him. I still think his match, uh, teaming with the, with Armstrong as the wild eyed Southern boys against the midnight express, the great American bash 90 is one of the all time greatest shows. One of the all time greatest matches. The motherfucker wrestled a bear. He worked with y'all as Freddie Joe Floyd. He entertained us all in ECW dancing around, pretending to be Italian from Nashville, Italy, just a hell of a guy. We had the pleasure of hanging out with him here in Huntsville last year, myself and Tony Schiavone for one of our Patreon get togethers. It just, it feels like it's way, way too soon. And I don't think I've ever heard anybody who ever worked with him or met him say anything other than what a great guy Tracy Smothers was. Yeah, it's way too soon, man. Tracy was 58 years old and super nice guy that. I've known God, I knew Tracy all the way back to mid South days and just, you know, he, he, he lost the battle to cancer, um, tough son of a bitch. And I'm, I'm, you know, yeah, may he rest in peace. I've had a, uh, As you know, I've had just kind of a fucked up last two weeks with, with, uh, a lot different, a lot, a lot going on, uh, personally. And it just, when you hear that and it just puts things in perspective for you a little bit, because he's one year older than I am and in that quick and, and he's gone. And I feel like I just saw him. And it was over a year ago uh, at, at one of these conventions. And I remember sitting with him in, in a show that uh, Gary Dameron had. And Tracy and I sat there and watched the whole show. And the enthusiasm that Tracy had for the entire show from start to finish and talked to every single guy and had a comment on everything, but out of love and out of just sheer enjoyment. Um, Tracy was a great guy. He's going to be missed. And, you know, it's it's just really a shame. And cancers, you know, for those of you out there, if you can help, um, that's one out of everything. That's the only thing that, that I really, I really hate and, and fight and just, uh, Cancer sucks and Tracy's going to be missed. And, and I'm going to, I'm just kind of at a loss for words. Really. He was uh, apparently diagnosed with lymphoma on November 14th of last year. And less than a year later, he was gone. And I think all of us just assumed he was going to kick out and, uh, unfortunately it didn't happen, but man, what a legacy he's going to leave behind. I hope everybody listening to this will go seek out some Tracy smother stuff and I hope you see some of his indie stuff that he did. That's not as widely publicized as his WWF or WCW, or for that matter, ECW or Smoky mountain stuff. But man, he had such a rap on the Indies. Everybody dies and spell out thug and dude, it's just the best. And, uh, if you saw Tracy Smothers, you know, you got your money's worth. I don't know that anybody I've ever met loved wrestling as much as he did. And, uh, we just lost a great man and. Sorry for bringing the show down right in the middle, but that was one of the things I texted you this morning. It just sort of caught me by surprise because if I'm honest, we've been putting some shows in the can with Jim Ross and Arn Anderson and a few others, and I would plug his GoFundMe every single time. And it's just, you know, I just assumed, Hey man, he's going to beat this. And then we're going to help him with his hospital bills. And it didn't happen. And, uh, it sucks. Yes, it does. I still doesn't forgive you for, um, hey, I do want to mention segue from, from being late tonight. You, you, you said earlier, you had a lot of personal stuff going on. I feel like we need to clarify. You're not sick. You're fine. No, these are family members who have been yeah. in some challenging stuff. That's required a little bit of travel. And we had to play best of last week, but 
we're pulling the nose up and everything's going to be okay. And Bruce is fine. So, uh, little thoughts and prayers for his family would go a long way right now. But first let's, uh, send those thoughts and prayers to the Smothers family. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.